you touched on this a little bit, Carol, when we were just talking. So when you looked at different products, you know, you originally looked at Domino and you spent that year uh, seeing if there was something else and you came to the notion that, you know, it really is what runs the business and it does exactly what you need it to do. And now with HCL's uh, investment into these products and movement around this, you'll start to see the, you know, additional features and capabilities as an advocate of it. But as you looked at Domino Volt, you know, what was it that, you know, drew you to that uh, and then working with the team uh, around that product and, and usage of it? Yeah, um, I, when we looked at Volt and when you guys presented it to us, um, you know, it, it really did check all of the boxes for us. I mean, it's low code. And I, as you said, that we're, we're, I'm not a developer. I mean, I can get myself around, but honestly, the low code was really key for us because, um, you know, we, we don't have a huge staff as far as IT. So, you know, we wear a lot of hats. Um, and so, that, that was definitely key. Um, it's extremely cost effective. Um, you know, we already have our investment in Domino. So adding that piece onto it is, it, is just, a, um, just a plus, right? Um, because we can take that and leverage that Domino Volt at the front end, you know, and then also tap into the existing database structures, which is the foundation of all of our litigation database structures in there. So. Um, that was a no-brainer to us um, just because we know how stable Domino is and how secure it is as far as, um, you know, people accessing the data. Um, you know, for those of you know that if you, you don't have the right ID, you can't ex access anything if you don't have the security um, associated with your account. So um, that was definitely a plus. So um, our, my my um, experience with the HCL team has been second to none. I work with a lot of um, different um, vendors, and I feel that HCL has really come and stepped up to the plate in helping us, um, you know, look at the look at our database and and see that we can use it for other things. Um, you know, we're looking at. Uh, once we do launch this uh, for other practice groups, such as real estate, where they could leverage that by looking at properties in different um, localities or time frame for those um, specific um, uh, properties. And also for mm -hmm. um, we have um, a lot of um, um, government um, agencies that we work with that have to deal with um, you know, different policies and federal regulations that they could keep and, um, you know, keep tabs on. So there's a lot of use cases that we could have for our existing environment. And um, we hope to leverage that um, in the future. Yeah, and that's a great segue into the, the next slide, Corey, if you will. Um, so when we talk about this for all the business users, and you mentioned it here, not being a developer and your team having limited development skills, uh, Volt, Domino Vault obviously is going to accelerate uh, what you need to do in the future with that. Uh, HCL, as you mentioned, helped you with the first application and kind of guided you through that. But it's something I think that once done and delivered to you, then your team's going to pick up and uh, add enhancements to and build around because of it is, you know, once you kind of learn that and, and get through it. So it really is about getting the power back into the end user's hand. So whether that's from a developer standpoint, or even opening it up because you do have the ability obviously to do unlimited applications if you wanted to open it up to even the attorneys and their staff to build their own applications uh, to keep track of things or personal productivity or you know as richard mentioned this morning you know our marketing team and, and other areas within your business around that so the ability is to get people engaged non-developer uh, type skills uh, spin up applications quickly, obviously. So that's, you know, the platform's there. It's already integrated with your security, as you mentioned. It already has the roles. If you're going after Domino data, there's protection already uh, in that. And if you're going against other things with enhancements like the new HCL link that's now included with HCL Domino Bolt, you get the ability to tap into databases, spreadsheets, uh, other uh, back ends that you might need to uh, connect to. And really keep that just like you're preserving your your domino environment and building upon that uh, other investments that you have technology wise being able to to do that so i think you mentioned hr some of the areas around that uh some other of the applications that are currently in domino you're looking at moving all right in the workflow yeah. um, 
Yeah, we are looking at, uh, you know, it, it, there's so, so many use cases that you can have for, for this kind of um, application and creations. So, you know, for HR onboarding, you know, we, we, that taps into so many departments, you know, so the workflow process could certainly be built in if we created an application for that. So um, we also, you know, have a lot of transitioning attorneys um, as far as, uh, you know, um, taking cases somewhere. So um, the limitation, there is no limitation, really. It's just our what we can possibly think about using it for. 